I was speaking to someone about Deuteronomy chapter 28. Yes, Deuteronomy chapter 28. So pretty much blessings for following God's rules, curses for not following God's rules. Now, I think that principle, in a sense, applies to us all. Like, in the past, I believe the United States of America was more God-centered. And I think at that time, I think we were seen like the best country in the world. But how are things now? I think more and more people are straying away from God. So I believe our country is declining. And I think about really, really poor countries. Like to where it seems like, and, and I may be wrong about this, as it seems like some of the government members prey upon the people. Prey, P-R-E-Y. And... It kind of, in a way, made me wonder, like, why are some countries, like, real low and some countries are real high? And if you follow the principle in Deuteronomy 28, perhaps I could assume maybe some countries are doing very poorly because because how they choose to live. If you are praying to idols, and I am not saying every country because I don't know every country, maybe some poor countries pray to idols, prostitute, do witchcraft, and all that other stuff more than some other countries that may be a bit higher, right? I believe I can assume that. Because if God blesses people who choose to do what is right, follow his rules, and curses, yes, I believe he curses, nations that choose to go against his rules if you go to i forget which book it is in and i may be saying this wrongly some people may say well what if there is a country where they never have been taught the rules of god and i don't have the scripture on me right now but i believe it says something like like the laws of God, like how God made us, like the laws of God is written on the people's heart. So even if you wasn't taught, like I guess it is the way that God made us to where you know right from wrong. And I may post that scripture in the comment section or whatever like that. You know, it made me think, like, why are some, some countries really, really poor and some countries are doing much better than they? Because I don't believe God is a God of favoritism. I believe it says partiality or something like that. Not a partial. I believe it is favoritism. Something like that. So if one country chooses to serve God and another country chooses to serve God, I believe God will bless those two countries, right? It's not like, I don't believe it's like, hey, <clears throat> even if you serve me, I am going to make you super, super, super poor. I don't believe it is always like that. And if you serve me, am I saying that right? 
let me say it again. <laughs> I don't believe it is always like, even if you serve me, I am going to make you super, super, super poor. No, I don't believe so. Not to say that God is going to make us rich. Man, please read in Deuteronomy chapter 28. I believe um, the nation of Israel was promised that God will make them the head. So the head is like on top, right? You may have lost your job. You may have some bad things going on with you, but are you living for Jesus Christ? You may believe fornication and adultery and stealing from, from people and cussing people out is like a fun thing to do, you know? But if you look at the whole picture, you are really missing out. Like for myself, in the past, I thought, I guess back then, I was doing what was fun. As in, you know, going to the, the bars and, you know, women over there and all that mess like that. But if I look at the whole picture, I was depressed. I was bitter, I was hateful, I was angry. Like I did not really have had, I did not really had have peace. I didn't really have peace. Like so many bad things would happen to me back then. My health was so poor back then, very poor. Like why would, I ever think or how could I ever have thought that I was having fun when as it seems like I believe I was cursed but I guess because I was so much in darkness I thought I was having fun and this is the life to live I'm telling you now from a person now, from how I am now, looking back on the past, I did a lot of foolish things, so many bad things, and I regret so much of what I have done. And I believe my life went so wrong because of my decisions. I think much of it was because of my decisions. This is one of the reasons this is one of the reasons why I am choosing to live for Jesus Christ now. Why? It profits me more. I have more peace. I may not be happy all the time, but I can say that I am much more content now. I don't know how exactly I was, I was when I was a kid, but I believe I am more content than how I was back when I was choosing to do so much wrong. Like, I like influencing other people to live for Jesus Christ. I like seeing comments, Kevin, what you said or your videos are really helping me get closer to Jesus Christ. Like, I really like being a positive influence upon the people. Back then, I would teach people how to do evil, how to do this and that. And let me not get into that. So if you want things to change in your life, don't go to a witch doctor. Don't buy any crystals. Don't burn any sage. Come to Jesus Christ and submit yourself willingly to him. Follow his rules. Stop playing around. Let me stop here. God bless you.